Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis. We are less than two weeks away from Dancing with the St. Louis Stars. I took a trip over to the Independence Center to check out the behind the scenes work and the mission of the fundraiser. Check it out. And step two, three, four, five. Shot, shot, Ganesh Ayer is three rehearsals in at this point and already has his routine completed. This year, he's been asked to be the member dancer for the Independent Center in Dancing with the Star St. Louis, a fundraising event. I was completely excited about it. I, I felt so privileged about it. And as someone who's accustomed to being dedicated to matters of the mind, body, and soul, he treats preparation for the performance no different. As we all do in life, Ganesh has a story to tell. I have worked at... Uh, Restaurants, I've worked at a cell phone sales company. I have worked at a clothing store. After that, I was unemployed for some time and I, I used to live at a shelter. From there, Ganesh struggled to find stability and mental well being. That was until the Independence Center stepped up and stepped in, restoring his sense of purpose. I'm involved in something which keeps me busy and gives me a lot of peace of mind because it makes me feel very relaxed and makes me feel that I'm involved in the society in a very healthy fashion. Dancing with the St. Louis Stars is one of those healthy outlets for Ganesh. He has been amazing to work with. He uh, catches on quickly. He's easy, easy. Just got a really great attitude about the whole, uh, the whole process. Carmen Gwynn is Ganesh's professional dance partner. One of the purpose as well as do, creating my dance company was to use it as a platform to bring awareness to, to things that affect us. Being able to be connected with the Independence Center on, in this capacity has been amazing for me because it's helping me fulfill that part. Ganesh won't be the only person you'll see dancing the night of January 20th. We invite corporate leaders. We match them with a professional dancer. We give them full reign, pick some music and some dance steps and they come out and put on a show like you've never seen before. Trish Holmes is the executive director spearheading the good work being done at the Independence Center. She reminds us all that this is not the fight of just one person or one organization before us all. Mental illness, first of all, the stigma of mental illness needs to be eradicated because people that walk in our door are no different than you and me. They want the same things out of life and part of that is community and belonging. And here at Independence Center, we are a family. I will ask my members, what's most meaningful to you? And they'll say, you saved my life, but I developed relationships. The Independence Center has act, acted as a, an uh, has played a very instrumental role and acted as a, a very important tool for me to uh, reach a place where I have uh, got the ability to see things in the right perspective and feel healthy about myself. So mark your calendars. Dancing with the St. Louis Stars will step off on January 20th at 6 p.m. at the Ritz-Carlton. Show up and make a difference in so many lives. Tickets and tables are available. Just head to independentcenter.org slash dancing. It's not about the technique. It's about raising funds for our members here at Independence Center. They are the real winners. Now some good news and some sad news, but the tickets have already sold out for the event. However, you're invited to watch the live stream on January 20th at 6 p.m. and vote for your favorite dancer. And I gotta say that Emerson is presenting this. It's gonna be a great time, Kent. So uh, I wanna see some of your moves. I mean, no. I know you got a bad back. You know, I've never had a call on that. No one's <laughs> ever approached me on it. I'm a little hurt, but not that bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you slide this one time. All right, thanks, All right. buddy.